Oh, you know what's up. Y'all know what this is. Actually, y'all probably might not know what this is because I never have it. But it's the mallet for this, uh, mallet, mallet, the singing bowl. Hey girl. Hello Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velk and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for this week. Keep in mind with, when it comes to these types of general readings, Libra, uh, it's impossible for me to hone in on everyone's situation in specific, right? Comes to, when it comes to these general readings, you have to rely on your intuition a little bit. So that's why I ask you to, whenever you are receiving these cards, receiving these messages, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and also, I like to speak in analogies when I give my readings. I could be talking about using the example of a relationship, but like for you and how the messages with tarot could be pertaining to you, Libra, it could be talking about a work situation for you so that's what i do want you to keep in mind and then yeah so i'm going to be pulling three rows for you libra i have the first uh the first row is going to be the angel tarot and the second row is going to be uh anime tarot and then the third row is going to be the necronomicon and the necronomicon tarot i personally love uh because i view the necronomicon very like strict so the last row is going to be the messages that the universe has for you of uh, suggestions to receive these blessings what you should be working on this week libra so let's just jump into this reading right uh so for your first row libra we have the ten of fire the renewal 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 girl the renewal card and the chariot card so i'm going to show you each of the cards and we have the ten of fire the Ten of Fire, I view tens as a uh, the sign of um, completions of a cycle. So I feel like when it comes to the Ten of Fire, this is kind of stressing in terms of ha putting too much on your plate right now, Libra. Um, there's learning to... Because the, with Ten of Fire, it talks about uh, being out of balance, which is out of your nature, Libra, right? We strive to be in balance. And so I'm going to pull some clarifiers and see like where this could be talking about. Um, okay, so I pulled for clarifiers. We have the Magician card, the Eight of Discs, and the Two of Swords. So, to me, how I'm receiving this, Libra, it's almost as if you're trying to do too much at once and almost as... <sighs> because, okay, let me explain how I'm processing this energy, Libra. To me, when I see the Magician card, there's like... I view the magician as like the master of all. You know, you're able to handle a whole bunch of things. You're able to excel at a whole bunch of things. The eight of discs comes in and it's like you're focusing in on something. It's almost like you're honing in on one specific passion, one specific blessing, one specific situation, one specific person, you know, depending on who it is, like your situation again, Libra. And then you have the, two, the ten of swords. And it's like almost as if like because of your hyper focus, you're cutting out other things, right? Talk about how uh, with when it comes to the ten, you're coming into a completion of something. Um, with the ten of swords, it's almost like the, the Necronomicon being graphic as it is. It's almost as like you're slicing off this person's head of someone that no longer serves you. So this individual would be like, uh, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, right? It's just as graphic because it's the Necronomicon. This could be a situation of you're cutting off a bad habit. Um, you could be cutting off a past work situation. You could be cutting off a past, um, you know, this could be easily shadow work as well. You know, this could be like things, you know, just, so you're cutting off something um, because you're putting your focus in on something that you're passionate about. You're putting your focus in on something. And so, you're, there's just like a, uh, and I want to, I actually feel like the Ten of uh, Swords kind of has the same energy as the Ten of Fire. So it's almost as if like you're honing in on something and so you're cutting, making, cutting, you're cutting things off as well. Like things are completing because things, new things are starting. New beginnings are coming because you're ending uh, path connections. I feel like it's a good thing though, because we have the renewal card. Uh, number 20 is equaling to two Libra. So write that down for numerology. We have the Renewal card, which is just a beautiful card. Archangel Jeromeo is a wonderful archangel to connect to if you are open to that. Um, with this card coming forward, this is why I feel like it's kind of necessary because it's like you're slicing off this whatever it is because it could nothing could be wrong with it per se. Like nothing, you know, this man could have done nothing wrong, but it's just no longer serving you anymore. It seems a lot more cutthroat than it actually is. And maybe you can kind of come off as cutthroat Libra just in terms of your actions because you're so focused in on your passion, right? You're being that magician, you're claiming this power 
for yourself and like other people can just kind of perceive that as um something different like you're just changing you know change isn't always a bad thing right the renewal card lets you know that this change isn't a bad thing because it talks about seeing things through how it is libra and then going into a new direction because that's what the card says it says a favorable assessment of the facts and time to move in a new direction so it's time for you to cut off the old things and to move into a new direction right and in going into this new direction very quickly libra because we have the number seven card numerology write that down uh, for number seven for you libra um archangel metatron um you're going into this new space of energy really quickly with this chariot card and i feel like it's beautiful i don't even feel the need to pull any more clarifiers for this row um in terms of tarot libra it's just it's kind of starting to build a story almost i want to start with some moon card oracle cards for this first row still um you're going into the chariot and the chariot card for archangel metatron is going to read off what the card says an important achievement self-discipline and willpower and public recognition so it's again it's like that self-discipline and willpower that you're exuding focusing in on whatever this blessing is that you're claiming this power into um, because you cut off old things libra this is where you're able to you're practicing the self-discipline and willpower towards whatever it is so if it's like a if you're trying to improve yourself for a person if you're trying to attract a person into your life you start cutting off people that would not challenge you um personally to grow and develop as a human being so you cut those things off you cut off the habits that like made you less made you feel less than desirable you know if you're trying to do for something for a career you start putting more focus into your career and it's beautiful right we have the Carl cardinal moon be bold and make the first move this is very similar this is very much so libra chariot energy where you're just really going into your power almost it's the key to success yeah libra you're getting so many green lights of just being like claiming this energy right now this is yours for the taking essentially this entire first row spread it's beautiful your dreams need a practical plan plan though full moon and Taurus. so it's asking you it's like maybe that's where that ten of fire energy comes in libra and letting you know that it's like with all these um things coming into your life and all these changes into your life and you need to add some a bit of balance into your life and some normalcy into your life build yourself a self-care routine it's important for you to build these routines for in order to be productive libra but it's also i feel like important to build routines off of you know taking care of yourself don't forget yourself during all this energy right here because there's a lot of energy just in your first row libra so let's get into your second row we have the ace of swords so yeah in this chair going off of that chariot energy it's going into this next phase right you're claiming the ace of swords energy you're claiming your power into something right that's why you need like that confidence you know those moon cards coming in queen of swords right you're claiming you're coming into power you're coming into your power this is almost as if you're like <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> it sounds so cliche but you're really just shifting your energy to a whole new level just because of, depending on how focused you are um this week libra i feel like this is really going to be the week of challenging you to see like how serious you're willing to take it um we do have the seven of cups as well which is very similar like it's beautiful beautiful to have this card when you have the magician card as well because it's like you, the world is your oyster right now, Libra. This is really time for you to make a decision. Like, really, the only thing that is stopping you right now, Libra, is your own willpower, your own, like, focus. Like, there's so much good going on for you, Libra. And I have a fourth card for your second row, actually, for the Two of Swords. So it's really, like, this is where I say, like, it's really feeling as if, like, you're going into, like, a new phase. You're claiming into a whole new energy, Libra, because it's, like, your whole third row is a bunch of sword energy and then wrapped around with a seven of cups with like success so this is so much like such it's just really good energy i view it as really good energy right i'm going to show you all the cards like you have these three swords swords cards where it starts with like it starts with the ace of fire you start developing going into this new phase in your life i feel like for some people this is a new start for you you're not used to this fire sword energy sort of thing but you claim into this power very quickly if you practice that willpower i keep on saying like this if because i feel like that's going to be your biggest limiter libra is how much advantage you take of this but also not get lost into it as well if that makes sense right and then you have the two of swords energy which it's almost as if like uh it's interesting for two of swords to come in because i want you to look at the imagery a little bit more libra i want you to look at it and see this as like a. it's almost as if like i see this personally 
as you having to have cut away so much and you're just at a point now aware because I see you Libra as this individual with eyes closed and just at, completely at peace but it's through this transition of going into a whole new space in your life that maybe the people in your surrounding space just don't recognize you as that you have to just be sure of yourself at this time you know trust in your process you, and don't pay attention to outside noises you know trust in like what it is that you're doing it may not make sense to other people right now but it, it doesn't need to make sense to them you're focused like you know what it is that you're doing you're claiming this magician energy the only thing that you need to worry about is figuring out this balance between claiming into this new power but not losing yourself in it either not feeling like you need to neglect yourself in any type of way because you're so hyper focused on whatever it is you're actively trying to manifest libra we have the mountain goat something out of balance again so yeah this is just such a push i feel like for you libra your biggest goal right now libra is to develop a routine this week to figure out a way to practice some balance and some like to have normalcy a nice flow in your life because there's so much energy so many things shifting in your life right now libra you need to figure out a proper balance you need to have some normalcy into your life um for your last row the necronomicon row this is how the stuff that you need to work on we do have the queen of wands in reverse so i feel like i like when it comes to the wands energy this is always just like with passion I associate it with and so right you look at this imagery more like this woman's very passionate she's got like confident in what she is and I feel like this is like what the spirit's trying to address is like in order to like claim this passion it's almost as if like you need to not be heartless there's I feel like almost like you need to have play a little bit of open your heart a little bit because it's like because you're this fiery passion of like this queen of wands it's almost as if like it's affecting other relationships in your life libra or other situations like other things get affected because of your hyper focus and you know it's not up to me to tell you how to handle that situation this is more so i feel like an awareness thing because we have the nine of swords coming in so this is heavily like i feel like all involving like social relationships for you libra so it's like uh being aware of it and with the queen of cups coming in it's almost as if suggesting like open your heart to it usually that's what the queen of cups would represent but with the necronomicon you see as her as like just being content with herself um, so it's funny that the Queen of Cups comes in for the Necronomicon too, because I feel like it's almost as if for some of you, Libra, you know that this is going to happen. Or it's more so like, yeah, you be, be aware of it's happening, of whatever your situation is, be aware of what's happening out in the outside, what's being affected through your hyper focus, right, Libra? And it's being aware of it and still not just handling it with care, I would say. Handling it with care, not necessarily asking you to fix anything. You don't have to fix anything, but handling it with care and acknowledge that everyone is on their own path. So if other people are not understanding it, be understanding of that. Um, but still go maneuver in a way that still honors this energy that you're claiming yourself into, if that makes sense, Libra. So it's, I guess it's more so spirit saying, like, <laughs> don't forget those around you. You know, be more uh, open to those that are around you. And even if you are shifting, even if you are moving to a new place, you know, it's almost as if like, you know how some people don't like to say goodbye, almost. It's like th this kind of spread is asking you, is like, even if you do have to leave because it's for be the best for you, like, don't, d just because you're so focused on your passion, that doesn't necessarily mean that you, ha you have to neglect saying goodbye, sort of thing. Um, that sort of thing you can still be nice you can still open your heart to whatever and treat it with kindness while going down your path and moving on i guess that's the summary for for this reading but really overall good uh spread for you libra i'm going to wrap this reading up with an oracle card to see what final advice we have for you libra um really the overall theme for you libra this week is just going to be about figuring out building that sense of normalcy in your life and while building that normalcy, don't neglect other people's realities and other people's um, feelings. But yeah, Libra, really, this is just like claim your power, Libra. This is what the title of the video is going to be, is claim your power. Animal Kingdom. So that leads me to be driven to pull a couple more cards from the animal oracles that I have for you. 
So we have the spider card, number 33, uh, six and two for numerology, write that down, Libra. Uh, Weaver of Dreams, so beautiful, like beautiful card to have, Libra. And Humpback Whale, music is essential to your healing and well-being, um, whether it's singing or playing an instrument or listening to the music. So maybe this can be part of your self-care, Libra. Maybe if you can take time to reset by listening to music. Um, and by getting lost, don't don't be so busy building this, uh, weaving your dreams that you neglect yourself and you neglect other people. Um, but yeah, that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I really hope this is helpful. If this reading was helpful to you and gives you a sense of direction, let me know which card called out to you the most. I would love to hear about it. Um, and if this reading does give you a sense of direction, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But I hope I can connect to you again soon, Libra. I love you so much. Bye.